Enzymes are small and powerful little proteins that help our bodies carry out vital processes. Today, we're going to look at how they work in the lock and key theory. So let's dive in. A great way to improve your understanding and boost your grades is with my study along workbooks. These are specifically made to use alongside my videos and contain loads of tasks and exam questions. By downloading them, you support me in continuing to make these videos. Get yours now from emmathetici.com. Catalysts speed up the rate of chemical reactions, and they do this without being used up or changed themselves. Because of this, they can be used again and again. Enzymes have a similar function. They are biological catalysts, and they speed up the reactions in living organisms. They can be used again and again as well. They're actually just a special type of protein. All proteins are made from chains of amino acids. Amino acids are small organic molecules, and you'll learn more about them if you take A-level chemistry. The folding of the amino acid chains is what gives a protein its specific shape and structure. In enzymes, this folding is particularly important. It determines the shape of the enzyme's active site. Let's look at what this actually is. Enzymes are like a padlock, and the active site is the keyhole. It's got a specific shape, and this is really important as it's going to allow just one key to fit inside it. The key is called the substrate. This is a word you need to learn. Because enzymes and substrates work together like a lock and a key, we call this the lock and key theory of enzymes. Okay, so now let's take a look at an example. One example of a substrate is starch. And the enzyme that it binds to is called amylase. So if they come into contact with each other, the starch will bind to the active site of the amylase. When this happens, the amylase catalyzes the reaction, which means it speeds it up. And in this case, the reaction taking place is the breakdown of the starch into its products and starch breaks down into glucose. So here you can see we've got two glucose molecules and those are the products. Different enzymes have different active site shapes. This is because their amino acid chains have folded differently, giving a different 3D structure. Because enzymes affect the rate of reactions, they affect the metabolism of a cell or organism. This is a term that comes up in the specification under the Fundamental Concepts and Principles of Biology section. We'll cover it again in the bioenergetics topic, but for now, here's the definition for metabolism. It is the sum of all of the reactions that take place in a cell or organism. Hopefully this little picture will help you remember it. By affecting the speed of reactions, enzymes control the metabolism of a cell or organism. Now, it's important to note that not all enzymes break down substrates. Some enzymes are able to catalyze reactions that build large molecules from smaller molecules. Other enzymes can change one molecule into another. Now it's time for the quick questions. Pause the video and give the questions a go in your head or on some paper, and then press play when you're ready to mark them. Ready? 1. Label these diagrams. At the start, we have got two substrates and they are going to bind or attach to the active site of the enzyme. You don't actually need to label the next one as it's not on the spec, but in case you have, it is called the enzyme substrate complex. And over here, we can see our product. And this is actually the making of a larger molecule from two smaller ones. And finally, we've got the enzyme itself, if you haven't labeled that somewhere else already. Two, how does a protein get its structure? By the folding of its amino acid chains. Three, an enzyme in an amoeba stops working. Explain what effect this would have on the metabolism of the amoeba. Well, enzymes catalyze reactions, speeding them up. So if an enzyme in an amoeba stops working, the reaction will be slower, and therefore, the overall metabolism of the amoeba will also be slower. 
This depends on you remembering that metabolism is the sum of all of the chemical reactions in a cell or organism. How did you do on the questions? Enzymes need special conditions to work. Click here to learn about those conditions and please subscribe to the Emma the Teacher YouTube channel for more GCSE science help. Thank you for watching and bye.